It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be showing you a Lagunitas IPA Torp to fit in the Krups the Subcompact. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open the door. So you'll notice that the red light is on down the bottom here. Yeah, you can just about see that. So the tap comes off. Leave that there a moment. Take the lid off that. And inside of the case is the line. Now, what I really like about this torp system is the fact that the, the line gets thrown away or recycled with every torp. So there's no infection. That slides in there like that, push it in tightly, job done. So with the compact, the back of the top slides in first, push it in, sit it down like that, put your nozzle in to the tap, slide that in like that, grab your tap, now what I didn't do last time, uh, just through reviewing purposes, was I didn't close the door properly. I left it loose because I was wondering if the, the tour would actually, actually fit it properly. That was the Watermelon Wheat by Seven Brothers Brewing Company. And when I poured it, because I didn't lock the door down properly, the nozzle came loose and a couple of you commented on that so I'm going to just lock the door down properly on that top because I'm confident that the beer is going to pour properly. The other thing with the watermelon wheat, I, I have listened to some of your comments, I'm not in a rush to get the reviews out but I want to get them done at the same time but I'm going to edit, I'm going to do a big edit in this video. I'm going to leave this for a while because if you notice the, the light is still red. I want it to go green, I want to give the beer a chance to settle and we want to pour the perfect pint. So we'll be back in a moment. Okay so finally we have a green light on the Krups the Subcompact with the Lagunitas IPA in it. I'm going this way, I'm going to go this way because I'm this handed. The noise you can hear in the background, I think I've nailed this, finally think I've nailed this. The noise you could hear in the background, I've loaded a, a keg in my blade beer machine. Still going. There we go. And now we have silence. The blade is quiet. The crups is quiet. Craft beer lady's cooking some cheesy beans on toast for us in the kitchen over there in, in the studio, our usual studio. Um, it's taking me so. I'm not the most patient person in the world. A lot of you might have seen my talk reviews previously. I've not really given it enough of a chance to go green, that green light. I want to load the serve, I want to get into it, drink it. That is the first time on the channel where we poured one pour, no edits, and the beer looks really, really good. No, no big foaming heads. Uh, we watered the glass before we got into it. Rinsed the glass out of water, and that looks perfect. So, what do we have? 6.2% ABV, one to two finger white head. It's gonna be a great weekend by the way. Lagunitas in there, keg of Heineken in the blade. Yeah, it's gonna be a super weekend. Yeah, nice looking beer, good levels of carbonation, amber in color, let's get the aroma. It's like a little bit of haze going on. Ooh, yeah. 
it's tropical as it is biscuity. This is a real balanced beer at 6.2. Juicy, tropical, lovely, orange, marmalade flavours coming through in the aroma. But at the same time there's a breadiness, there's a biscuitiness. Uh, this Lagunitas would have come, I, I'm not sure, it would have normally with the Torps, the, the reason why a lot of people are buying these Krups machines is because the beer generally comes from the brewery, straight from the brewery source. So I'm hoping, unless it's contract brewed somewhere in Europe, that this has come from the actual brewery in America. That would, that would be a nice thought, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. It's really hoppy, really citrusy, grapefruit, mango, passion fruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange biscuity, bready, nutty, a real breadiness. You can tell that the colour of the beer, it's, it's a... I'm, I must go back and have a look at my Lagunitas IPA review from... I must have done it about five or six years ago now, from the bottle. I must go back and see the colour of it. I think it's the same. I think it's the same colour. Oh, it's lovely. It is a lovely beer. Really, for me, yeah, this is keg, keg beer at home. Proper keg beer at home. And when you've got some kind of weird pandemic going on, it's all you can hope for. Something in the blade, a nice torp in the Krebs. Um, we got a family party uh, coming this, this, this very weekend. So I've already emailed my brother-in-law, uh, my father, um, my nephew, who's just turned 18, or he's about to turn 18. And I said, guys, I've loaded the, the Heineken in the blade. Come down, help yourselves. I'll be drinking mainly the IPA, I think, the Lagunitas IPA. I bought two Lagunitas Torps, um, two Punk IPA Torps, and a Pellforth Blonde. Um, I've already reviewed the Punk IPA. Pardon me. We're reviewing now the Lag... Pardon me, the Lagunitas IPA. Which is very good. Look at the conditioning. Look at the conditioning on that beer. And I will do a review of the Pellforth Blonde. That'll be coming soon. Touch of licorice, touch of spiciness, pepperiness, but overall, yeah, it's a real good beer. It, it, it's Lagunitas IPA. It's how I remember the beer. I'm just not 100% sure on the colour, if the colour was the same, but I'm pretty sure it was that kind of American style amber IPA colour to the beer. Let's rate it. Beautiful look, great conditioning, great look to the beer. I'm, every time I'm going to get a torp now, I'm going to do my little edit in the morning. I'm going to load the torp into the machine from the fridge, leave it a few hours, get it to maybe evening time. Let that green light come on. If you're like me, you're always in a bit of a rush. You think, I'm going to grab it out the fridge, I've got a little fridge down there. It's already cold enough. I'm just going to load it in and never mind about the red light and whatnot. Take your time with it. Take your time. That's my... That's my... Well, I'm, that, that's the lesson to myself from today is to, is to just take your time with the machine. Rating for lagging this IPA. 
I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. I'm going to have a great weekend. Boom! Cheers!